What's going on guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today we're on the 1.47 dev server once again. This is the second video on the dev server. In my first video, I did a, a fairly extensive preview of uh, some of the changes that are coming into the patch with respect to new planes and tanks. But there were some things that I overlooked and some things that I got wrong. Some things I just got, I simply missed. So we're going to go through some of those things. If at any point I go too fast, you can always hit the pause button. We're going to start off with the American Tech Tree. Some of you guys wanted to show, or you wanted me to show some of the modifications tabs on some planes and tanks. So we're going to start off with some of the other changes. First of all, P-51 is getting new bombs and rockets. I did mention this in the other video, but just in case you missed it. You can see the whole lineup of new bombs and rockets that are being added. You get a pretty nice little selection here. Again, my, my concern was P-51, do you really want to add or give uh, people an, another reason for ground striking with this thing? I don't think so. Not, even though it's a, it's, a, it's a historically accurate addition, it's probably not the most wise. Simply because I know we're going to see P-51s ground striking when they should be fighting. But that's a whole other subject. <laughs> or a whole other debate, rather. The F-80, or F-8F Bearcat... It's getting more ammo. The current Bearcat has 1,050 rounds, whereas the the new Bearcat upgrade, well, you'll have uh, 1,250. That's 200 more rounds of ammunition. Every time I take out the Bearcat, I always seem to run out of ammo. I think it's because I spray a little too much. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to that little, little more ammo. B-57B, you guys wanted to see the bomb load on that. Take a look at the modifications. Holy shit! <laughs> that is a lot of a lot is a lot of ordnance options. I'm not sure I've seen more than ten options for bombs and rockets like this. This is going to be a bomb or a ground strike uh, nightmare. Just imagine the, being the opponent of a uh, or on, you know, on the other side, your your your, your ground. All your ground targets are going to be taken out by this thing. And here's all the modifications. You can see all the all the uh, bomb uh, attachments that you have to research. It's, it could take a while to get all those. I'll, I'll better show the the ammo. Pretty standard 50 cal options for belts. APIT tracers. Those are obviously they're going to be the the, the ideal ones to use. Let's see, what else is there? B-29, I did show, but just in case you guys missed it. Nice little selection. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the, the army. Let's see, the M-26E1 for just under 7,500 golden eagles. You guys wanted to see the, the ammo types. With the AP shot, that's a lot of penetration. 213 millimeters, 207, 198, 179, 151, 143. And again, if I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button. HE, you got 17 millimeters. HPAV, 273, wow. 269, 257, 240, 193, 171. Next up, the M42, battle rating 6.7 in realistic battles. The 40 millimeter gun, default you get uh, 63 mils, 58, 45, 39, 31, 21. The Mark II, you get 9 millimeters. The next upgrade, you get 63, 58, 45. 39, 31, and 21. That's of course the the uh, let's see, let's show you this what it looks like. This is the anti-air 40 mils, 40 mils of death. My God, I think it's insane. But of course, the, what I what I pointed out as a possible concern is the is the uh, the ammo or the armor on the sides. 
trying to protect the ammo, all, all the ammo racks. That's a lot of ammunition. It's just lined up all along, along, all along the side, making this very vulnerable, I would think. Let's see, there are some changes with the bombs. Let me take a look here at my list. The Junkers 88A4, or Junkers 88. It's getting 28 50 uh, kilogram bombs. In the current version of War Thunder, you only get 20, so you're getting a little, a little more, a little more uh, bombs. Then with the Dornier 217 E, M, and K, instead of 26 bombs, you're getting 28 bombs at the 50 kilogram uh, mark. Oh wait, I gotta, gotta show you the the D5. This thing is getting the gun pods. Let's not forget that. We have to show that off. <clears throat> We're gonna buy them. What the hell? Yeah, gotta show them off to you guys. I'll show you the the MGs. Oh my God! Look at all those all those machine guns in the, in the wings. And that is a lot of ammo. 3,000 rounds. You get 12 machine guns with 3,000 rounds. Let's take a look at the cannon. That's four cannons. With 800 rounds. So it's actually not as much ammunition as I thought you would end up with. Let's take this out for a quick little test flight. No gear control, of course. I completely forgot. It's been a long time since I've flown this thing out. Oh my god. Yeah. People love taking this out and, and getting like three or four air kills because it's ridiculously uh, maneuverable. I don't think it's going to be as maneuverable with the, with the gun pods, and that's, that's a fair thing to say. With all that extra ammunition. This thing is going to. This thing you could you could probably regularly get get aces, I would think. If if you're already good with the D5, I think you're going to be okay. Oh my God! All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Holy cow! That's a lot of ammo. It's not as much as I as, as I expected it would be, but it's still pretty darn cool. Now, as far as the tanks, I did overlook one completely, and that is the Tiger E. Right here. Battle rating 6.0. I completely missed this one in, in, in uh, yesterday's, or not yesterday's video, but the other video on the 1.47 dev server. Now, because we, we, I haven't covered it at all, we're going to go through the, the armor just to show you what we got here. 30 mils of thickness of the tracks. 82. 102. 120, 140, 135, 100. 82. 26, 82. 82. And there's the inside look. Lots of ammo on the sides, both sides. And there's actually some in the bottom there too. Fuel tank, radiator, engine. A lot of ammo. 92 rounds of cannon. Plus you've got the two machine guns with have which have over 4,000 rounds of ammunition. That's a lot of ammo. 88 millimeter gun. With the first option, you got 130 mils, 125, 115. 105, 91, 70. Then with the APCR, you have 198, 190, 174, 155, 139, 125. You get the high explosive, you got heat. You get 103 millimeters. That'll be something. And lastly, we got 16 mils with just the high explosive. Let's see, what else do we have? 
Oh, the mouse. Got, got to show the mouse uh, modifications. I forgot about that. Here's what it looks like, just in case you guys didn't see it in the last video. Incredibly heavy tank. Here's the modifications. Here's a 75 millimeter gun. First option, you get 80 millimeters worth of heat all the way through. Next up, 12 millimeters, 80 millimeters, and 100 millimeters. So there's not a whole lot of difference in between the various distances. Not very dramatic of a, of a little preview there, was it? <laughs> Let's see what else. We got the Flak Panzer Jeopard. Twenty millimeter gun. Default you got thirty-seven mil, thirty-five, twenty-five, fifteen, seven, and six. Then we have four millimeters. Thirty-seven, thirty-five, twenty-five, fifteen, seven, and six. And again, if, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. We have HVAPT, we have 55 millimeters, 45, 22, 12, 4, and 3. The Martyr 3. 76.2 millimeter gun, 117 millimeter, 115, 99, 86, 67, and 49. Next, with the heat, you got 100 millimeters all the way through. The APCR, 153, 143, 122, 102, or 101, 82, and 58. Next, with the HE, you got 15 mils all the way through. We're going to go over to Russia. Now, the I 16 has some ammunition changes. With respect to the Schwax, they all get more ammo, like 700 more rounds, roughly, from what I could tell. Because I think the old, the old ammo count was 2,400, and now it's 31. So you're getting a lot more ammunition for your I-16s. I don't really fly the I-16s, but uh, you know those of you who do should enjoy that. Oh, I forgot one. You guys called me out on this. I forgot completely. The F-82. I was wrong in, in, say, in, in, uh, in questioning if this was 8 or 2. And I, I thought it was 2, but you actually do, get, in fact, get 8 more uh, machine guns with the, with the Mustang. I forgot about this plane. Sorry about that. I'm looking at my sheet in here, and I just realized I completely overlooked that. Let's go back to the Russian tanks here. The T20 or T126 is a premium. Here are the the ammo options here. 53 millimeters, 52, 43, 35, 28, and 23. 61, 57, 42, 41, 35, 25. We have 105, 95, 55. 30, 25, and 19. And of course with HE, it's got 6 millimeters. T28E. Here we go. Modifications. 76 millimeter gun. That's a lot of shrapnel. 34 millimeters, 33, 30, 24, 20, and 10. 70, 65, 55, 50. 45, 35. Then with the HE, it's 15 millimeters. T54, 130, or 1949. Here we go. <clears throat> 100 millimeter gun. Well, look at, this, look at these penetration numbers 185, 175, 157, 145, 130, 117. 190, 180, 162, 150, 132, 118, 215, 210, 200, 183, 160, 144, 251, 250, 209, 159, 109, 87. And then with HE, it's 19 mils. And it actually um, brings up one of the other points that uh, somebody 
point it out. This is a new round. This last, this one here. All the T54s get this new APCR round. So all the all the uh, T54 should have this particular round. So they all should have, I believe, the same penetration. Next up, we have the IS3 and the IS4M. Both get a new H AP round. And it is the BR471D. Right here, so armor piercing. Armor, yeah, armor piercing capped, ballistic capped shell. So you get all kinds of, of uh, penetration here. You get 230, 2, 227, 206, 183, 163, 146. Next up, we're taking a look at the at the British. The Typhoons get a change with their bomb, bomb load. You get two 1,000 pound bombs that are being added to the uh, aircraft. That's the only change that I can see in both uh, the 1B and the 1B late. Meanwhile, the Tempest Mark V. You can install rockets. Can last uh, last upgrade here, you can get the rockets. 876mm rockets. One of the things I missed on the previous video was the the new IL-2, the 1941 version, doesn't have the customary 23 mils that the IL-2 and the IL-2M, uh, where is it here, this one here, it, instead of the 23 mils, it only has 20 millimeter Shavak cannons, two of them for with uh, 300 rounds of ammunition. Here's a quick look at the at the weapons uh, possibilities. Pretty standard IL-2 loadout. Here are the 20 mils. I would imagine the armored targets is going to be the uh, preferred choice here for the IL-2. But yeah, the 20 mils, not 23 mils. I, I completely missed that in the first video, and I'm I, I appreciate whoever uh, wh whoever it was that corrected me in the comment section of the other video. I forgot your name. I'm, I apologize. Anyway, guys, that about wraps it up. I covered most of the stuff that I wanted to cover. I wanted to mostly get into the modifications tabs of uh, tanks and what have you. I, I covered, I believe, everything that I've written, written down here on this piece of paper. All the loadouts, the... Yeah, I got, I got all the tanks. Alright. The only thing I didn't cover is some of the, you know, like the flight model changes. I can't get into that. That's just way too many, way too many planes that have been uh, altered. And uh, you'll have to look at the list. I'll put a link... In the video description below, uh, Gaijin has listed all kinds of plans that they've uh, changed. Um, recently, they they made some changes to the A6M5s, altering their controls. But but uh, 1.47 is shaping up to be a pretty big patch. Not only are we getting the the changes that we've outlined here in this in this video as well as the last, but we're also getting cockpit lights. Um, some planes are getting op uh, canopies that can open. Which is really interesting. Um, we're also getting uh, contrails, so when you're flying around, you'll see contrails. We're getting uh, driver view and binoculars and tanks. Also, if you look behind you, and while you're in while while you're in a tank, you can see the marks that your tank left behind you, as you uh, as the weight of your tank has left an imprint on the ground. So 1.47 is looking really cool. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you had to hit that thumbs up button. And as always, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Take care, guys.